What's poppin' is your boy Mike Powers. You may have seen the Mike at Night episode that features my next guest, a uh, big time porn actress, Cotton Candy. Incredible conversation. It was running a little bit over. I thought you guys might want a little bit more in depth detail on what's going on in the adult entertainment industry, excuse me. And so, of course, we have her here again, and I hope you enjoy this conversation. Um, a, a proper introduction, I think, is in order again. My next guest is what you would call a legit superstar in the entertainment industry, repping for the voluptuous honeys with well over a hundred movies to her credit. Straight from Delaware, your big girl's favorite big girl, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to the Mike Power Show the beautiful and talented Cotton. Candy Cotton, let's just pick up where we uh, left off from before. We talked about face sitting. It may be a weird way to just start off a video. Um, <laughs> okay, just drop right into it. Let's get let's get right into the shits. No pun intended. Um, okay. Off camera, is that? Do you um, have partners that have enjoyed the face sitting off camera? No. So, you know what's crazy? Like all the fetish stuff that I do, it's never transferred into me finding someone to have personal sex with that that's what they like the only i know no let me backtrack again i gotta keep 100 the only thing that i have come across is spit swapping as a as a um fetish of one of my personal encounters he likes his mouth to be spit into when we're having sex so whoa that part but did he have self-esteem issues or no no no, that's just his thing. He just likes to have spit in his mouth when we're fucking. <laughs> wait, you you wait, let, listen, listen. Can let me say let me say something. I, I could be wrong, you just tell me if I'm wrong. It sounds like to me you like when when you in your mind you like you you envision it and you like it. You right? Oh, I do. You feel a certain I'm way when you talk about this cuz you talk about when you was talking about sucking dick, you was talk, you was really like yeah, because I like my sex. I don't play about my sex, son. But when I spit in his mouth, his stroke gets better. <laughs> it gets better and better. So, yes, I like spitting in his mouth, honey. <laughs> Man, you so serious right now. Hey. Um... I am so serious <laughs> right hey, now. Um... I'm having flashbacks. I need to call him. What? <laughs> The coronavirus is lifting, so you know I'm traveling. Now. I need to call that nigga. What? What is the freakiest <laughs> thing one of your partners in real life asked you to do? Okay, say that again. One of the, what's one like one of the freakiest things you, one of your real life partners has asked you to engage in? Oh God, I don't know because I'm a natural freak, so they don't really have to ask me to do anything. Like, okay, I can say I've done something that was asked and I'm not really into it type of situation. So when I suck a dick, you know where the perineum is for you guys. It's right underneath the balls. It has nothing to do with your asshole or your taint. I will never violate a man in his ass without permission. So without permission. Yes, because I do strap ones for some of my fetish people. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> there's this called the perineum where you knuckle. They can see me, right? Yeah. Okay, so you do the knuckle and it's right underneath the ball. So the balls lay on top of it. And then you just put pressure right there while you're sucking. So it's like this and you're sucking and you're like just doing the bottom lip of the head. But the pressure right here makes you want to bust a major nut. And he wasn't so much with the pressure because it was new to him and he couldn't control his body. So he was like, no, I don't like, I don't like that. But it's okay. But, you know, I'm a freak. I always... I, I, I consider myself a headmaster, sexologist type of situation. So I will always find ways to bring new feelings of nuts to you versus just giving you the same old slob and ah, let it make it wet and do that. Like, I really fuck with your body, like your entire body when I suck your dick, like for real. Like, I can get references if you need them. <laughs> Get references if you need them, but I'm just saying um, you have to control your shit because I love to hear you not breathe. If I can make you not breathe, I know I got you. <laughs> just saying, it is what it is. I take that shit very seriously. Just know I take it very seriously. 
I only got one life to live that I know about, and I'm going to take full advantage of it. Right, and you go fucking <laughs> suck that motherfucker right every time. <laughs> I, I respect right every time. You're never going to leave me disappointed. The fuck? That's never happened to you. Nobody's ever said, yo, you could have did a little bit better. Nobody ever no, said. I'm not with people. I'm not with people that I was in entanglements with because of time. It was never because of a, a issue with our relationship. It was just time. Either they didn't have enough time or I didn't have enough time. And we just decided either we were just going to be cool. Like I'm cool with some of them that I'll never have sex with again. Or there are local smash and dashes. Like if I'm in the city, I ring them like the spit boy. I ring them up, spit man. I ring them up like, hey, you available? You want in the city? Let's holler, smash, and then we dash. So it's like those type of situations. Um, <laughs> I'm such a dude. I've got some questions, but uh, listen, you are. Such but dude, I got, yo. I got some questions. It seems like you answered. What's your favorite part about sex? Oh, getting fucked from the back. When you holding on to my motherfucking fat rolls, you better not let go because we going for a motherfucking ride. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that and play with my stomach. Yeah, I would. De I definitely punch a ticket belly. to that ride very often. You know what I mean? Whenever I got an opportunity, yeah. love some hips, love to grab onto a more cushion for the That's pusher. Um, serious Don't question. Not 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 happens. trying to be funny, but do you do any special exercises to keep the vagina tight? I don't. No, I'm not going. No. No. <laughs> oh my God, you asking me these questions. Okay, so I have what is called a snapper, which is why my co stars always, <laughs> always want to shoot with me on the scene. So it took me as, as, as a female understanding her body. I know, guys, you're not going to understand this, but the ladies that are listening, as a female understanding her body and growing up with something so to me was so fucked up was that I had no, I have no control. I have no control, none to this day of my vagina. It gets, the longer you fuck it, the tighter it gets, the wetter it gets. It's Where's this magical pussy at? What are you talking about? I'm not even trying to hype. I, I, I still hate my vagina, but I, I understand it. And I'm not trying to hype up what it does yeah. and, and, and like make people like, oh, I got to see her type situation. It, this is what it is. And I'm 46 years old and it's still doing this shit. Now, when it first started, when it, my first encounter with this was when I was 15, my first boyfriend, my first sexual encounter. And I didn't know what the fuck was going on with my body. And it was tripping me the fuck out. I had a whole crying session because I thought that I had disappointed him. And he was like, no, no, that was great. It was great. And I was like, no, my body was doing this and it was doing that. And my vagina was like, like, it gets like, it sucks you in and then it push you out. So you have to be able to stay in it. The, it, it's not it's not stay in it because it's loose it's stay in it because it will push you out that's how tight it gets so it's just it's weird it's a weird vagina you you, you can you grip you can grip <laughs> like yeah it does it does all of that it does the pulsating like the all of it all of it and again i have references <laughs> but no for real for real i i hate my vagina and y'all love it. So they fight over who's going to do scenes with me on set. Like, Clint, like I got a list. They knew you were coming. I got a list. Who you want to shoot with? Because everybody wants to shoot with you. <sighs> but that's my vagina. And welcome to my world. And world famous cotton candy that, coochie on, on deck. You hear what no, I'm talking about? Um, is crazy. <laughs> um, my research says you have a background in karate. Yes. Who told you? Who? No. Yes. No way. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, we can't. <laughs> Who told no. you this? <laughs> okay, so it's yes. It's powers. I got to light a cigarette right in the middle yes. of the interview. Uh -huh. It's powers. Okay, so yes, my son was taking courses in uh, Shotokan karate style, which is a defensive karate. And I joined up. So I have three years under my belt of that and I still practice it like he and I will do a little sparring with each other every once in a while just to, you know keep me up to date when I got a knocking to get out or throat check a bitch so, 
And to, to, to speak on that, I have a hands problem when it comes to females talking slick to me. So my parents suggested in the very beginning that I get a bell money account because, yeah, there's been issues. <laughs> I got a hands issue. Are so you friends with um, any um, well-known female porn actresses that we might know? And my friends, yes. I am um, only I, uh, because this business is so snaky. It's like the music business. It's fucking snaky as fuck. And you can't trust everyone with your business. So her name is Summer Lachey. She got big titties too. <laughs> and she had become my best friend after we were going to fight. Now picture that. So yeah, it was a whole stairwell incident. She wanted to talk and you don't take it. The kind of person I am, you don't take a person that you want to have a conversation with into a stairwell and they not fucking with you. So she wanted to go talk into the stairwell. My thing was to smack a bitch, like put hands on her. <laughs> and it, it turned out that the universe at that time was like, let's hear her out. And it come to find out that the other bitch that was giving both of us the information was playing us against one another. So I let her get back on my lineups for my events. And we kind of just, cause I saw the hustle in her and mm -hmm. like as far as her businesses were concerned and things like that and we developed a friendship over business which transferred into a personal friendship but so, do you know like like fine. you don't know you don't know like i know pinky is very famous um she's not as popping as she once was i guess right but you don't know her we all fall off i will have my day if 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 i haven't fallen off to some fans at this moment so but we all it, it's a transgression the young have to come in the old have to go out so that's why you must get in this business and develop hustles and develop money streams and not depend on your coochie and your butt crack to take care of everything forever because it don't last but see and, and listen see i'm trying i'm right now I'm, never mind <laughs> Speak your um, mind. This I'm, 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 um, listen, uh, hey. one of my friends makes the joke that some dudes cannot handle a big booty like the size of yours, and he and the joke that he makes is they can't get past the cheeks. Um, how important is size to you in real life? Size. Uh, I get asked this question all the time, and y'all never believe me. Um, I like a. Uh, penis that is the size of anywhere from five and a half to seven inches and if it's five and a half six i need it with girth so the girth gotta be at least two and a half three inches thick because i like to grind on because i know that they won't be able to completely do the the uh backdoor situation like running it back and all that stuff so if i can sit on you and grind on you and it's enough to fill me up and you can feel what this pussy do and i can feel what that dick does with the girth oh i'm with it i'm with that situation now see on camera they like it for the look of things they don't always re require a king kong i call king kong a horse dick but they like those i don't need that digging out my guts every day like i don't need that on a personal level stabbing me and jabbing me and potentially putting me in the hospital for womb exercises and shit like that i just need something comfortable that i can lay up with hold in my sleep and be chill with so yeah <laughs> you probably hate me because i will put you in traction I'm just playing. I'm just making a joke. I'm gonna do. Okay. My, my, you think no. that I'm very flexible. No. I never. I never. I'm not one of those women that put their legs up and hide the coochie. I take my hands on my little uh, ankles here and I spread them legs all the way over because I want all the inches. I love pain. Don't ever get it fucked up. I love the pain, but I just don't want it every day. These are because because I'm an entertainer. I know my girl gonna watch this. Like you doing too much, nigga. Listen, this is what I gotta do. <laughs> I'm an entertainer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't do too much. Do just enough. Just enough. That's what I'm trying to. I'm trying so hard. Uh, how much? Of, how much of your breast size plays a role into your popularity? I mean, if you went down a few cup Probably sizes, would, would that would that have an adverse impact in your career? If you went down to let's say a D. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> People think that my titties are big because I am fat. No. My dad's side of family has a genetic gene that continuously has our hormones, our 
girls growing. My aunt was a size S, as in Sam, Samantha, super. Um, she got a reduction to a size double G, and she's back at an N now. And it's just because of the hormone wow. that we have. And I always know when my titties are getting bigger because it's like this little um, sharp pain that transpires. And then I'm like, oh, shit, my titties grown. I'm going to have to grow up to another bra size. But even if I, which I would never cut my titties down. It How's would, your back? How's your I, back? I had, I, oh, I have, I'm, I'm too busy to have back pains. I'm not no fat bitch that lay up all the time. Right. So, no, I, I stay active. So my back don't go into traction. I don't have those kind of issues. But they are still growing. I can say that. And it is what it is. Like, it is what it is. <laughs> okay. Um, is but there a, is there a such thing as a as a casting couch in this industry? Hmm, have you I been Have you been approached? Not. Okay, I personally have not come across for someone asking me to do a casting couch. But I have had females contact me about how to get into the porn industry. And is this per particular person reputable because they asked me to do this and do that. So this do this and do that for them was to come and fuck on camera and not be paid for it. To me, that's a casting couch. And I was like, no, nah, don't do that because once you sign that 2257 form, you can never go back and try to get your money. You got to get your bread before you sign that form. So there may be like those fuddy duddy people that aren't really in the industry, but just want to fuck bitches and say that they are and make a whole situation out of like a whole company situation out of it to be able to fuck girls for free and not pay them and shit like that. But not for me. My intelligence is too strong for that. Got you. Um, have you ever done a scene with a man or woman whose crotch hygiene was not right? No, because I have OCD. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. The first time Summer shot with me, because um, after we developed our friendship, I put her on my website. So we have a whole scene on there. Um, for the foot fetish people, too, there's a whole scene on there. But what I do, she didn't know what I do when I have to do girl girls, because I don't like to eat pussy. Like, I pretend and I'm telling y'all now, it's all pretend to eat pussy. I don't go near that thing. But what I do is I keep a, a pack of baby wipes off the scene. And then I will wipe their vagina down and wrap the thing around her and dig up in there and get any that's oozing about to come out. I make sure that that's all. And on, we actually shower before every scene or I'm not before every scene, but before every um, job, we of course shower our daily showers, but once you get on set, they provide showers for us too, because you know, fucking fat girls with all them lights and sweats and we got folds and shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have to keep it clean and smelling good. And for the most part, a lot of the ladies have, I've never come into a situation because I won't let it be a situation where funk is introduced into my nostrils or something like that. We're all tested. So it's never a situation of catching something on set. It's more odors and I would say no. Because of my OCD, I have not come across that. But I can't speak for other females. What the fuck was poppin' is your boy Mike Powers? Mike. The, 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 the intro, K.